Superman and Lois, is it just another random entry in the Arrowverse or is it something different? Hi guys, welcome back to The Sanctuary. I just finished watching the pilot episode of Superman and Lois and thought I'd just turn the camera on and give my initial thoughts. So they're gonna be a little scattered. Um, I literally just turned it off. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. I've seen these characters, we've seen these characters played by these actors in other shows in the Arrowverse and they were okay. Um, I didn't necessarily find them special in uh, the history of Superman and Lois, but the show's different and it pays a lot of respect to the history of those characters, which I, th I thought was fantastic. Uh, for example, uh, in act one of the show, we get a quick recap of Superman's origin, uh, the first time he meets Lois, the first time he puts on a costume and actually saves a young boy from being crushed by a car. Now that scene especially was cool for me, and I'll tell you why, number one, the car is this weird kind of primary green color. And that's because the cover of Action Comics number one, the first appearance of Superman, is Superman with this green car. So they're paying homage to his first appearance on the cover of Action Comics number one. The costume he's wearing in that scene, his first, the first time he suits up in this new show, that's the costume from the Fleischer cartoons from the early 1940s. I think that's awesome. That is really cool. There's a point in the show somewhere uh, where they're just in the house talking as uh, Lois and Clark, and there's the chalkboard, like a things to do chalkboard in the background, and the name Donner is written on there. That's a nod to Richard Donner, who did the Superman movies in the 1970s and early 80s. All these little nods, all these little Easter eggs are gems for someone like me who's been reading uh, Superman comics for decades, who was a devoted fan of the show Smallville. I even wrote an episode and tried to get it to the executive producer. Um, so anyway, this new show, <laughs> let me get back to that. It's the cinematography feels more like a movie than a Arrowverse show. Arrowverse shows tend to be very primary colors, very uh, modern, very high tech. Uh, this is um, kind of the you know, the, the sunset browns and yellows and oranges of a farm. Um, it's very movie-like. And on top of that, uh, when he does don the costume, the effects are better than we've seen in other Arrowverse shows. Um, I was quite impressed. Uh, they do introduce a villain. It's a very mysterious villain who is sort of identified at the end of the episode. I won't say more than that. Um, but that's intriguing. I want to know more about that. Uh, but the big thing about the show is that Lois and Superman have teen, I'm sorry, Lois and Clark, have teenage sons uh, just entering into high school. And so they've been together for like 15 years. They've been married a long time. They have these two kids. And so we haven't seen Superman in this stage of his life where he has responsibilities to his family, to his wife, to his sons. And it shows him as a dad. It shows him as a husband. And those are the primary things in his life. Or maybe in this first episode, he's learning that those are the primary things in his life. And so that's a different um, time in life than we've seen uh, shown for Superman before. And I think it will be a perfect thing for them to mine a lot of storylines from. Um, I think we're going to get a lot of focus on family, which is appropriate. If you think about uh, the other major characters in the Arrowverse, Flash, Green Arrow, uh, Stargirl, most of them come from broken families. Either a parent has died or divorce, or usually it's a parent has died. Uh, so this, I think, this is an, an intact family, and so we're going to see different kinds of stories 
uh, than we see in other shows in the Arrowverse. I'm sure there'll be crossover. Arrowverse loves to cross over. Um, but I think Superman will stand, Superman and Lois will stand on its own. I don't think you'll have to watch the other shows to understand what's going on in this show. And it will appeal to different audiences. You've got guys like me who I'm not as young as I used to be, but I still love Superman. Uh, so I'm going to enjoy the show. But my 13 year old son will watch it with me because we have these two sons who are entering high school, which is exactly what he's going to be doing in September. So it will relate to different generations, which I think is really positive. Um, gosh, what else do I have to say? Um, there are revelations. There are, um, you know what? The dialogue is really good, but it isn't as, God, I hate to say this. I've watched every episode of The Flash. I love The Flash, but the dialogue is really snappy and, you know, and it's, uh, it's the way people wish they talked. You know, it's, they always have the right comeback. This show, it's not like that. This show, it's more realistic. Um, he's got one son that he relates to really well and another son that is more distant and maybe has some social problems. Um, so he has dad problems that he has to deal with. He's not perfect. One of, the, uh, one of the things that people complain about with Superman is he's too perfect. He's too powerful. Um, you know, he's too much of a, of a nice guy, you know, goody two shoes. Uh, in this show, he feels almost like uh, he's not a good dad. He's not finding a way to relate to his sons. So there's a lot that they can mine there for really cool storylines, but they're not going to forget that he's Superman. There's going to be good villains. There's going to be outer space. There's going to be good stuff. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. Now I'm rambling on. So I'm going to end this because I don't want it to be too long. If you haven't watched the show, give it a try. I think it's absolutely worth trying. Um, I'm excited about it. And I'm excited to have another show I can watch with my, my family, my whole family. Um, so good job, Berlanti. Um, good job for not just doing a cookie cutter DC superhero show, but letting this one have an identity of its own. I think that's awesome. And I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are too. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And uh, man, oh man, cool, a new show. I'm pretty excited. That's it. Have a good night. Take care.